The IM Grave uh, 050 trial was conducted to address a very important unmet need in patients with uh, primary liver cancer or HCC. For these patients, after surgical resection or ablation with curative intent, there is currently no adjuvant therapy. So because of that, the recurrence rates are very high, especially for patients with high-risk features, such as big tumours, multiple tumours, fast plate invasion, and poor tumour differentiation. So the trial was uh, addressed to compare atisodizumab as uh, adjuvant therapy versus active surveillance, which is our current standard of care, to see whether atisodizumab and bevacizumab could be effective in reducing recurrence uh, recurrence and increasing recurrence free survival. So at the first interim analysis of the trial, which was pre-specified, the IMBRAVE 050 met its primary endpoint and became positive and had a hazard ratio of 0 0.73 and a p-value of 0 0.012, which is pretty good. Uh, we found that recurrence free survival was 78% for patients on exosomat versus 65% for patients on active surveillance. This is a landmark 12-month uh, 12 analysis. And similarly, for recurrence-free survival, when we did a landmark analysis at 12 months, the recurrence rate was 34% for patients on active surveillance versus 20% for patients on atisolizumab and bevacizumab. Interestingly, uh, in this study, uh, recurrence-free survival benefits seems to be enhanced in patients with larger tumors and in patients with larger number of tumors. But for all the other clinical subgroups, uh, they all seem to be benefiting. And in particular, patients with viral hepatitis etiology and patients with non-viral etiology both seem to benefit from the therapy. The duration of treatment was relatively long. For atisodizumab, it's about 11.1 months. And for bevacizumab, about 11 months. Much longer than we see in the 150. But in spite of that, we do not see an increase in the AE. In fact, the most important AEs uh, that were higher in the treatment group compared to the control group was first, proteinuria, second, hypertension, third, decrease in platelet count, and fourth, derangement in liver function tests. Uh, otherwise, uh, everything else seems quite balanced. One of the uh, limitations of the study is because the data was uh, positive at the first interim analysis, the data for overall survival was very immature. And for overall survival, we would have to wait a bit longer to see meaningful data coming out of that. But uh, certainly, this is a very important event for patients with liver cancer going for liver resection, because prior to this, there was nothing possible uh, to reduce recurrence. So hopefully, things will become better for patients.